Wombat Walkabout, written by Carol DeRichards and illustrated by Sophie Blackall. Early one morning, when the sun came out, six woolly wombats went walkabout. They didn't see the dingo with the hungry eye. I've a hunch my lunch just walked on by. Six woolly wombats, walking one by one, passed a golden bottle blooming in the sun. The last little wombat, whose name was Clive, stopped to smell the flowers. Then there were five. Five woolly wombats, ambling right along, crossed the wooden bridge at the billabong. The last little wombat, young Theodore, stopped to throw a pebble. Then there were four. Four woolly wombats, trucking down the track, heard a kookaburra laughing like a maniac. The last little wombat, whose name was Lee, stopped to have a listen. Then there were three. Three woolly wombats, all in a row, passed by the wood where the gum trees grow. The last little wombat, known as Prue, stopped to pick a gum nut. Then there were two. Two woolly wombats, Jem and Jack, got awfully quiet, so they looked back. No little wombats? That's not good. They jumped off the track and hid in the wood. Along came the dingo, his tail a rag, and on his back, a big swag bag. That swag was lumpy and jumping all about. That bloke's got our mates, so we've got to get them out. Now wombats are diggers, so Jen began to dig, while Jack gathered armloads of sticks and twigs. They dug a great pit, wide and deep. They covered it over, then Jen began to weep. I'm a poor little wombat, all alone, lost in the woods so far from home. The dingo licked his lips and said with a yelp, Don't worry, little wombat, I'm coming to help. Crack! At the branches, the dingo took a dive. The swag bag opened, and out popped Clive. Then the others climbed out. One, two, three. Good work, mates, they said. What wombat glee! Six holy wombats, good as new, walked along together, two by two. Jen, Jack, Theodore, Prue, Clive, and me had a lovely walkabout. Then home for tea.